Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 14 homework. So let's get started. Number one, skip count by fours. So let's see. We have one, two, three, four. So the next after that will be four more. That'll be eight. And then twelve. And then sixteen. And then twenty and so on. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight. Thirty-two. Um, 36 and 40. So that's it. Skip count by fours. And now it says match the answer with the expression. So we have one row of four, so it's one times four. So now we have two rows, so that'd be two times four, which is eight. And three rows would be three times four. Four rows would be four times four. Five rows would be five times four. And then six times four. Seven rows would be seven times four, and then eight times four, nine times four, and ten times four. So that's pretty much the first page. All right, next page. Number two. All right, so Lisa places five rows of four juice boxes in the refrigerator. Draw on the right and skip count to find the total number of juice boxes. All right, so five rows. A four. All right, so we have five rows of four. So now skip count to find the total number of juice boxes. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So that means five times four equals 20. So that means there are 20 juice boxes in total. Number six, six folders, number three, sorry, six folders are placed on each table. How many folders are there on four tables? Draw and label a tape diagram to solve. So let's see. We know there's four folders, four, um, four tables. So, and we have to find out. So we have four tables. We know there's six folders. So how many on each are there on four tables? So we're trying to find out the total. So let's see, we know there's six on each table. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's keep on drawing those for all the table. So let's, one way to solve this is just keep counting by six. So there are six, 12, 18 and 24. That means that 6 times 4 is 24. And there are 24 folders on four tables. So there are 24 folders on, on four tables. Number four, find the total number of corners on eight squares. All right, so let's start with a tape diagram. So eight squares, all right, so let's see, so we have to find out the total. So there's eight squares, and what is the total number of corners? So let's first separate this thing into eight, so. And we know, so let's see, what do we know about squares? We know a square has four corners, so that means that one square has four corners. So each group kind of has four corners. All right, so let's draw one, two, three, four. So what they're asking for is to find out how many corners are there on eight squares. So the total number of corners. So let's see, let's draw in all corners on eight squares. So one, two, three, four. All right, so we just drew all this in. So what we can do is escape counting by four. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and 32. So that means that four times eight equals 32. 
which means on eight squares, there is a total of 32 corners. So there are 32 corners on eight squares. Okay. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.